Breaking overnight, protectionist team celebrates their Melbourne Cup win, but there's more tragedy from the race with vets putting down a rail dog. New details on the death of the Cup favourite, the jockey's warning before they jumped. Revealed this morning, the plan to let Australians travel to Africa to fight Ebola. Happening today, a formal farewell for a political legend. Both sides of politics to come together at Gough Whitlam State Funeral. And a massive cash cow jackpot. We've got $30,000 to give away on Wednesday, the 5th of November, 2014. Right across Australia, this is Sunrise on 7. Now, live from Brecky Central, Koshy and Sam. Oh, good morning. Oh, oh, back at oh, oh, We are back at Brecky Central <laughs> after Cup Day <laughs> at Flemington. What a day, eh? Oh, some people on the team are a bit naughty. Uh, oh. We have it all covered this morning. The what, uh, One bike in a hat. I was quite well behaved. <laughs> no. I can't put my shoes on today, though. <laughs> well, I'm like one of those trashy girls right. that leaves, with the, leaves the race course without shoes on. Like, I can't do it. 24 hours later. Yes. Uh, the Connections of Protectionists will join us live. Oh, what a day, though. The owner of Veraldo is going to talk to us, too. That's pretty sad. Um, he's speaking out this morning. Our cup, our, our cup coverage starts now, though, with Nat. Thanks very much, Sam and Koshi. Good morning. The Melbourne Cup has been marred by tragedy, of course, with two horses, including the favourite, dying soon after the race. Vets were forced to euthanise seventh place getter Araldo overnight after he broke a bone in his right leg when returning to his stall. Just hours earlier, race favourite Admire Rakti collapsed in his stall and died. It was a, a sudden death syndrome. It does happen very, very rarely in, uh, in race horses. Um, I think our incidence in Victorian racing is something like 0.007%. So it's a, a freak accident. The Melbourne Cup is again heading overseas with Protectionist becoming the first German horse to win the race. English jockey Ryan Moore was given a dream ride by the stallion, crossing the line four lengths ahead of the pack. The federal government has reportedly reached an agreement to allow Australian health workers to fight the deadly Ebola virus in West Africa. The government has been reluctant to order health workers into affected areas, arguing there's no way of getting them home if they catch the deadly virus. The government is expected to announce an agreement with the UK to treat Australian volunteers if they become infected. A state memorial service will be held for former Prime Minister Gough Whitlam in Sydney today. Australia's 21st Prime Minister passed away in October, aged 98. He was the member for the South West Sydney seat of Werriwa for more than 25 years and he served in the Air Force during World War II. Tony Abbott is expected to be joined by five former Prime Ministers, a number of dignitaries and members of the public to farewell Mr Whitlam. And we will be broadcasting the memorial service for Gough Whitlam live on 7-2 this morning from 11am Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Indigenous protesters say they've been unfairly locked out of the headquarters they had planned to use during the G20's Leaders' Summit. Brisbane City Council is defending the move, saying the building needs asbestos oh, removed God. and a refurbishment. Protesters are skeptical of the timing. Council and the state government are doing everything they can to, to remove blacks from the inner city. And it's all a part of that, that uh, program. It's uh, ethnic cleansing. Council insists all parties were informed about the work in August. Yeah. Head this sunrise, the catchiest songs of all time revealed. Oh, oh. We're going to put them in people's heads for the yeah, day. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone who went to a Melbourne Cup lunch. Yesterday, <laughs> love that one. You'll thank us for it. All right, let's get some weather. Eddie, how are you after your massive mammoth day? Huge day, huge night. Very, very, very quiet morning. <laughs> Still wearing the same hair from last night. I'm not even going to pretend that I tried to redo it. This is it, how I went to bed last <laughs> night. Did slap on a bit more extra makeup this morning for you guys. Uh, let's have a look at the weather, shall we? Sunrise weather, brought to you by Claritine Ready Tabs. They melt in your mouth in seconds for relief anywhere, anytime. 
A trough is generating very warm, dry and gusty northerly winds in western Queensland, western New South Wales and eastern Victoria. It's bringing a cooler but mainly dry change to Victoria. The trough in the north is triggering thundery showers across the tropics and northern Queensland. Partly cloudy for Brisbane with a top of 28. Showers and storms developing in 26 for Sydney. Partly cloudy in 25 for Canberra. Here in Melbourne, increasing sunshine in 19. Hobart, 14 degrees with showers. Partly cloudy for Adelaide with a top of 24. Mostly sunny in 28 for Perth and Darwin, 33 degrees with a shower or two and a likely storm. What do you need? We're a little bit hungover. Oh. Not me. I'm talking about my associates, my colleagues here oh, in the weather petty. team. A dozen eggs. You beauty. Some and bacon, yeah. a barbecue, and yeah. some rolls. What more do you need? Yeah, if you want heaven. to come down for a bacon and egg roll, if you're awake in Melbourne this morning and you're feeling a little bit under the weather, yep. we will supply it. Oh, so far, we only have a dozen because no yeah. one. We're at the barbecues. No the one got, uh, got to the supermarket yesterday, so this is all we have Perfect. for now. But we're oh. going to send someone out, get <laughs> some more supplies. Don't invite too so many people. If you are yet, coming then. down, perhaps you should RSVP on the soapbox. <laughs> <just in case. laughs> Come for so a barbecue no, with any eat, but Bring your own bacon. Yeah, and eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we will supply it. We will supply it. We'll just send someone oh, to the shop straight after this. Uh, don't, you, don't you hate it when you've, you know, been out all day, drunk a little bit of champagne, and then behind you are a whole lot of people doing mm. exercise in the yes. early morning. Just Early rowing, yeah. doing some hardcore activity. Or, or when you get to work, it's pointed out that you've got a big crease down the side of your face. <laughs> Is it still there? Thank you for joining us. Is it still there? <laughs> and a bit of drool. <laughs> I do, it is still there. Uh, yeah. I, I woke up face down this morning. <laughs> in my own bed. bed. Not yeah. in, the gutter in, in my own bed. But still in a racist usual. dress. <laughs> Rose, the makeup artist, is like slapping me. Thank you for drawing right. attention to that. Up next, Australian cricket sends an SOS to Spin King Shane Warne. We saw him yesterday. <laughs> Oh, did you? No, he got the SOS yesterday. He was as fit as a fiddle, didn't he? <laughs> and we'll tell you what's next for Melbourne Cup winner protectionist as Connection celebrate his victory. And is there anything she can't do? Angelina Jolie reveals she is considering a career in politics.